Good evening, brothers and sisters in Christ. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over this video and all who's watching. So I just posted a video of Pastor David Wilkerson about uh, the holy, the baptism by fire of the Holy Spirit, which led me to a Bible study on the refiner's fire. I'll put the link in at the end. In this um Maybe kind of long, so I may have to do two parts. Um, this article is about the refiner's fire, and there are two Hebrew words that have been translated refine, seraph, literally to fuse, which is Zechariah 13, 9, Isaiah 48, 10, and Malachi 3, 2, and 3. But I want to start out um, in 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 6 and 7 first. Um, and I had a big arrow pointing to this, and I wrote so key in my Bible. But um, it says, In this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while, if need be, you have been grieved by various trials, that the genuineness of your faith being much more precious than gold that perishes, though it is tested by fire, may be found to praise, honor, and glory at the revelation of Jesus Christ. So I want to start there, and then um, I will go through the other scriptures with you. Um, let's go ahead and go to Zechariah 13. And I um, want to share also a vision uh, with you that I had probably back in 2016, I believe. I was driving down the road, and um, I saw a, um, a sword uh, being refined by fire in this vision as I was driving down the road. And I knew it was the Lord speaking to me about refining me. Um, and I saw it go on the grinding wheel, and I saw it go back in the fire. So uh, I just want to share that vision with you that I had years ago. Um, and, you know, I don't think we're ever done being refined. At least I'll speak for myself. Uh, so Zechariah 13, verse 9, it says, I will bring the one-third through the fire, will refine them as silver is refined and test them as gold is tested. Amen. So um, sometimes we're being tested and tried uh, so that the Lord can refine the things in this that, um, that don't honor him. And, uh, you know, he's making us more uh, like Jesus by refining us and removing um, sin out of our lives and, and things that don't honor him. Um, it could be, you know, just a behavior, um, things, maybe how we react or respond to a situation. I can speak for myself. I mean, um, you know, uh, sin is sin and things that don't honor God are sin. That's why repentance is so important and so key um, throughout the Holy Bible, especially when Jesus sent his apostles out to and to, he said to, to preach the gospel and to uh, preach repentance. Amen. So let's go to Isaiah 48.10. There's a lot kind of to unpack here, so um, bear with me. Um, Behold, I have refined you, but not as silver. I have tested you in the furnace of affliction. You know, when Paul spoke about... Uh, going through trials and afflictions that we're supposed to count as glory um, because we know we know that uh, we have eternal salvation in Jesus um, when we when we pass these trials and and this refinement amen and keeping our eyes on Jesus um, so let's go to Malachi 3 verses two and three and I believe I have all these uh, these I'm kind of old school. I know I'm not showing it right now, but I have them all marked with little tiny pieces of paper, which is probably not the brightest idea, really. It's not. 
Um, but the Lord, um, when he revealed that scripture to me, or that vision to me, pardon me, um, he was showing me that I needed refine. He was showing me that he was going to take me through the refiner's fire. Um, and I'm a firefighter, so I know what fire feels like, and it doesn't feel good. <laughs> and I've literally said in, in my weak time of weakness and crying out to him, Lord, this sucks. This is hard. I can't, I can't take this, you know, but I must need a lot of work. So God is merciful and kind. Uh, Malachi, uh, verse, uh, chapter three, verse two and three, but who can endure the day of his coming and who can stand when he appears for he is like a refiner's fire and like launderer's soap. Amen. He will sit as a refiner and a purifier of silver and, uh, wow, um, he will purify the sons of Levi and purge them as gold and silver that they may offer to the Lord an offering in righteousness. So, um, you know, he, he purifies us and cleanses us of all of this dross inside of us so that we may become more righteous. Amen. For his sake. Uh, glory be to God. Um, also, if we go to uh, Psalms, let's go to the book of Psalms. Amazing book, isn't it? Psalm 66, verse 10 says, For you, O God, have tested us and have refined us as silver is refined. Amen. So it says in this sentence, the same word is rendered also tried. So Psalm 66, 10 is the word explained as tried. In Melt, Jeremiah 6, 29 Let's go to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 6, my little pieces of paper, because I'm old school, I apologize. The bellows blow fiercely, the lead is consumed by fire, the smelter refines in vain, for the wicked are not drawn off. So, also to purge, Isaiah 1, 25. Let's flip to the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 25. I will turn my hand against you and thoroughly purge away your dross. Purge and dross, okay? Also, it says another word, zakwak. Z-A-Q-A-Q, -A -Q, I probably didn't pronounce that right, literally to strain or to sift, which reminds me of Job. Um, in the case of silver and gold, the term probably referred to some washing process in connection with refining, as in Malachi 3.3, 3, which I just read to you. Both seraph and zakwak are used in 1 Chronicles, pardon me, 28.18, 29.4 and Job 28.1. So let's go to First Chronicles. I'm glad you can't see all my little papers. <laughs> 28.18. And refined gold by weight for the altar of incense and for the construction of the chariot, that is the gold cherubim, that spread their wings and overshadowed the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord. Now, this is speaking about Solomon instructed to build the temple. These are the instructions, um, and it's speaking of the instructions that he received um, for the Ark of the Covenant. And then we can go to 29.4, which is 3,000 talents of gold and silver. Let's see here. Yes. Um, pardon me, 3,000, yes, of gold, of the gold of Ophir, and I had, I had uh, Googled this the other day and studied that word, and it's the finest gold, of the finest gold, Ophir means the finest gold, and it is refined, and 7,000 talents of refined silver to overlay the walls of the houses. This is still in the book of Chronicles, uh, chapter 29, 4. 
Job, and I just mentioned Job, and Job verse 28, or chapter 28, verse 1, this is Job's discourse on wisdom. Surely there is a mine for silver in a place where gold is refined, the book of Job. And we all know the story of Job, um, severely tested, um, but there is goodness. God restored everything that Job lost and then some, amen? The same word in Isaiah 25, 6, one of my favorite books in the Bible, Isaiah 25, Oh, my little paper must have came out. <laughs> 25 verse 6. <clears throat> now let me just um, read this to you. This is referring to the straining of wine. 25 verse 6 says, And in this mountain the Lord of hosts will make for all people a feast of choice pieces, a feast of wines on the lees, of fat things full of marrow, of well-refined wines on the lees. So that is actually the straining of the wine, the Greek word puro, in the passive literally to be ignited, is translated refined in Revelations chapter 1, verse 15. So we'll go to the book of Revelation. Revelation 